Hi, here in this video I will talk about the overwhelming surah and the description of heaven and hell and its similarity to the real world. In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Are you aware of the overwhelming? Faces on that day will be ashamed, laboring and exhausted, suffering in a blazing hellfire, drinking from a flaming spring. They will have no food except the useless variety. It never nourishes nor satisfies hungers. Other faces on that day will be full of joy, satisfied with their work in an exalted paradise. In it, no sense is heard. In it, a supreme flaws. In it, there are luxurious furnishings and drinks made available and pictures in rows and carpets throughout. Why do they not reflect on the camels and how they are created and the sky and how it is raised and the mountains and their, how they are constructed and the earth and how it is built. You shall remain, remind for your mission is to deliver this reminder. You have no power over them. As for those who turn away and disbelieve, God will commit them to the great retribution. To us it is their ultimate destiny. Then we will call them to account. So here what I want to you know, mention is that God, God is a fair, we know. And here we, we see that the description of hell uh, and heaven is actually a sort of a, a description uh, that is equal to the things that we did. So because we wasted our, so bad people wasted their energy in the world. So they ate, uh, for example, they ate things without deserving. So, their, so that's why their punishment is like that maybe. So the and it, it gives pleasure normally in the world, so that they uh, got punishment in the afterlife. And so in, and the, we see that also heaven and hell is sort of a contrasting, and there is a balance when Quran mentions about it. And as we know that it's mentioned uh, similarly, like uh, with the similar. Uh, so once it was the hell mentioned, and another heaven was mentioned. So it creates a sense of um, emotional harmony because there's punishment if you do something good, do something bad, and uh, there's a reward if you do something good. So that it makes you feel like God is fair and it makes you believe in the world and it helps you to change your behavior. So anyway, that's my interpretation of the surah and thanks for watching this video and hope to see you in the next video.